and in this video I am going to show you various kernels for your Samsung Galaxy G7 so here we have various kernels here you can see the, you can go to this links the links are given in the description this is the XG thread and here we have the various Samsung Galaxy G7 custom kernels here you can see here we have Optimax kernel 2.0 for your stock ROM and stock deploaded ROMs by just clicking here you can download it and we have the Optimax 2.0 for A5 and A7 ROM ported for Samsung Galaxy J7 and don't try this uh, kernel in your stock kernels or any stock updated permissive kernel and in if any case you have tried it uh, you will get your phone bricked and we have the stock updated permission uh, permissive kernel this kernel helps you to give permissive permissions to your stock kernel so nothing is so without any further ado let's get started so let's try the stock kernel in this stock version here you can see i am currently using stock android so let's just flash that wrong it is around 7 7 mb just power of your device and now press this volume up power and home key simultaneously for about two to three seconds to boot into recovery if you don't know how to boot into recovery you can check out my videos to so how to install twrp the links are in the description so so we will do the same by searching the file here we have these three kernels optimax port roms and we have this stock kernel per message so we want to use this optimax 2.0 kernel j7 so just click on this and just swipe to confirm flash here it is installing and installing has been completed so no need to wipe cache just reboot the system I was also using all these kernels for about 2-3 to three days and I have seen very drastic changes in my performance of my device. You can check the kernels by using this Trickster mode app, it is freely available in the play store. Just download it and here you can see we have this Optimax kernel. Here in journal we have this TCP congestion control. Uh, in this we only get this reno and cubic but now we have this westwood bic high speed and sgcp and uh, in iu schedulers we have new schedulers like noop fio ps and this fio and now we can uh, re read or head buffer size to maximum here we have this new governor on demand it will help you to save the uh, make a balance between the performance and the battery life but i like this interactive because it will help me to increase my gaming performance and you can also overclock your device like in the minimum you want to set it to 1500 and here let's check yeah here you can see that all the cores are running on 1500 megahertz but we have the range between 400 to 1.5 so this is with the stock kernel and if you want to do the same for A5 and A7 kernel rooms uh, so you can do the same steps as I have done in my stock kernel and if you install the stock permissive kernel it will only allow you to give permissive features to your stock kernel and if you want to increase performance you must flash the stock kernel provided in the first number so that's all with this video and if you have any queries related to this video or any other topic you can just comment in the comment box and don't forget to hit the subscribe button it will help me to grow and thank you